from my experience going to Japan, I've had several girls that are dated and I've noticed several patterns. There are certain type of girls where getting into a relationship, getting, you know, dating them is not worth it. And I will tell you the pitfalls that I went through so you don't have to kind of go through them. I'm going to warn you beside the obvious, you know, like don't date Japanese strippers or Japanese girls that might be underage. Huh? Quick side note, the paperback of my book is now available on Amazon. So if you are shy and struggle talking to girls because you get nervous and shit, my book is for you. Yo! What up everybody, it's your boy Joseph. Before you start watching this video, give this video a like, right? From my experience going to Japan, I've had several girls that are dated and I've noticed several patterns. There are certain type of girls where getting into a relationship, getting, you know, dating them is not worth it. And I will tell you the pitfalls that I went through so you don't have to kind of go through them. Number one, the guy Gene Hunter. If you're a white guy, you will find that getting Japanese girls in Japan as a white guy is super easy, right? Because the reason for that is all the men, the Western men that go to Japan are the 1%, right? They usually have a lot of money. They're really good looking. They're businessmen, right? The 1% businessmen that are super smart and super sharp, right? So automatically, all Japanese girl will kind of extrapolate that kind of vision onto you. But the problem with that is they will disregard your personality. They will disregard who you are as a person and objectify you as the white guy gene guy. You might be awkward and not get any girls, right? In your country, wherever you're from, right? It doesn't really affect them until until they meet another guy you know a lot of times in my last stream link up here you saw that the japanese girl said that she really fancied white guys but once she came to australia she kind of saw like the otakus the weenies from the real man once she actually gets familiar with your culture and a lot of like white guys then you will have a problem the gaijin hunters usually go for the best next guy right so I'll tell you a story. There's this friend I had um, who I actually met in Japan and we used to go clubbing and he would get the baddest bitches, right? He had like brown hair, brown eyes, white skin and everything, right? But the minute somebody blue eyed, blonde hair came in into the club, he lost the girl. It's super strange because even among white people, there is this kind of weird hierarchy or this weird desirability factor, right? And I thought like that's fucking messed up, right? Yeah, don't don't go for them because you setting yourself up to be heartbroken well it's always me i can't get any girls they always leave me and that just shows how bad i am if you brother bro you gotta be extra careful because there's these certain japanese girls right they're called amajos thick ass big titties everything right and you see them and you think to yourself whoa you know and because they're like they disguise themselves as like african-american girls so basically they make sure they've got like they put on like some curves they've got the hoop earrings to make sure they're tanned they make sure they they fit the typical black stereotype and i promise you they're hella sexy they're really sexy and you want to go for them if you want to have a good and fun time but long term wise bro they have the lowest self-control they have they usually like high in sexual drive and they've got the lowest self-control so if another nigga comes along right in my other video i was cock blocked by trini which is a black guy with rasta hair taller stronger more money better looking basically better than me in every single way all right and the girl i was talking to left me for him they're called Amajo, and they only go for black guys no way. The second girl that you want to watch out for is the overly cultural Japanese girl, right? The overly cultural Japanese girls, they usually, for them, first of all, you will have to speak Japanese. Don't even speak Japanese. Stop pretending. 
if you don't speak Japanese, it's very hard for you to get them. And second of all, as a black man, right? These kind of cultural women, they're extremely, they, they value Japanese culture. So they're extremely Japanese, right? And what really draws them to you is the physical anatomy. Yeah, so they think they want BBC. When in reality, it's just lust, you know? And they confuse that kind of lust with, you know, wanting a relationship. So once you get into a relationship, once you marry them, right? And all the lust kind of like wears off, then a lot of times they realize they never really wanted a black dick. Also on top of that, you know, like with the language barrier, the cultural barrier, and you're not acting Japanese or not abiding by the Japanese typical cultural rules because you don't know them, right? It kind of leads to a lot of argument and bickering and do you know what I mean? And usually those kind of type of kind of women, they usually will divorce rape you. Well, it's always me. I can't get any girls. They always leave me and that just shows how bad I am. Like I know a friend who got married to this chick and 15 years, and I know multiple, right? And you would think that they're the cutest girls, right? Because they were married for like 15 years or so. But the minute you kind of like struggle, the minute you lose your job or something happens, boom, she's out. She will take the kids, she will divorce you. And it's not only her, it's her friends and it's her family that kind of like go into her ear and talk about like, oh, you shouldn't have married him anyway. I told you this and that. Because with us in a Western society, we expect a relationship to be 50-50, right? But nah, fuck that. In Japan, it's like 120 you and minus 20 her. So basically, she expects you to look after her. If she, if anything goes wrong, even if she fucks up, it's your responsibility. You like the man of the house. Unless you know the culture, trust me, this girl is not for you, man. Next one will be any girl that is tw over 25. Any girl that is tw over 25 in Japan, those girls are considered old and out of date. They can't get Japanese guys. That's they out of the question. So what they do is because they feel lonely, they will turn to foreigners. And we foreigners, we're so stupid because we don't know. To us, Asians don't crack, right? So we would take a 30 year old, you know, with kids, you know, because they still look young and fit, you know, but in Japan, they're undesirable because they usually get married and have family like at the age of 21, you know? So any, girls that are over 25 they usually try and trap you into a relationship um i've got a video here where the girl tried to get pregnant by me without my consent and look i told her straight up i was like look if you trying to get pregnant by me without my knowledge be prepared to become a single mom because i'm not staying in japan right so you want to watch out because these women they are usually usually really lonely and they don't want to be with you because they like you it's more to kind of like cure her loneliness and she expects you to save her don't date anyone above 25 if you want to have a submissive girl that does everything you want and you know like becomes really clingy and stuff yeah by all means go for it because they have money they have you know they cater for you they do everything you want but in the end of the day you want to have the top tier quality Japanese women, right? The fourth Japanese girl that you want to avoid is the typical yandere. Basically, she fits the typical anime girl, you know? And these kind of girls, they're usually really clingy. Um, really, they really want to be with you all the time. They really desperate and clingy. Um, they don't want to leave your side. They want to know what you're doing. And uh, they don't want to be separate with you, you know? And the problem with those kind of girls is they are, if you don't, if you don't let them be clingy, they become angry. They have this kind of internal anger, aura of anger that you kind of sense. And they will never show it to you because they want to keep you happy, right? And But you kind of feel it and that kind of negativity vibes off you, right? Like rubs off on you, you know? And because of it, you, you kind of like on eggshells, you don't want to kind of like upset them, you know? You always have to be super considerate. You can't, you, you're basically in prison. You can't do whatever you want. You have to be super considerate, right? And you notice that once you get annoyed with her, she'll kind of start smoothing things out with shine shine, you know? And obviously it works because we guys are super horny and we want shine shine, but later on you will see a pattern and it's kind of irritating, right? And also, 
Japanese women or Japanese people in general, they never really show you their emotions, the true emotions of what they're feeling. So they kind of like bury everything inside and all of a sudden they will blow up at you. You know what I mean? So you don't want to deal with kind of yandere's, kind of like clingy girls. Because in the end of the day, man, you'll become depressed and you don't want to be depressed, right? And the last Japanese girl, I think it was just like pretty obvious is you don't want to date any professional Japanese women, you know, that are like career women. You know, first of all, they tend to be over 25. Second of all, you have to speak Japanese for them. And the reasons are pretty obvious. First of all, you hardly ever see them. Very tight schedule. Thirdly, they put work before the relationship. And lastly, you will hardly get any shine shine. Come on now. Come on. They're going to be tired from work and stuff like it's basically a bunch of liabilities that you don't want to account for. So the question remains, Jozo, if you can't date a girl that is 20, over 25, super cultural Japanese women, gaijin hunters, what can you date? Well, that's a question for our next video, right? If you want to see a part two, what Japanese women you can date, click the link down below, comment down below, let me know what you think which kind of what type of japanese women which type which of these type japanese women have you encountered right and if you haven't already subscribed come on man right subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the hype because this channel is growing exponentially right and man if you haven't already and if you want a girl just go and read my book link is in the description below dating for the socially awkward this doesn't mean you have to have social anxiety or anything but it's just like it gives you confidence to walk up to a girl and take rejection you know I me mean? so i hope you enjoyed this video and share it with your people i never asked you to share anything but this channel has grown be part of the movement and i hope you enjoyed i'm out and i'm out